Okay, we've arrived at our destination lake for today, or at least one of them. A little on the marshy side. So this is probably going to be a lake where we're going to just sight fish for most of the day. It's pretty, pretty calm. We're not seeing a whole bunch of cruising fish. Um, we don't want to be overly aggressive and, and spook them. So we're just sort of hanging back, looking for fish. And we're going to cast to the best ones, and Roger's going to have the first shot. Actually, I see... Uh, I see two or three smaller ones in there. I don't know where that big one went. Went it was it was cruising to the left. Let me move my position. Uh, he, he was different from that other Yeah, he did. Yeah, he was he was darker and he was bigger. So Roger's going down to the water and I'm staying up here high so I can help him spot fish. So Roger and I have come to an unnamed lake um, here in the High Sierra. Um, we're hoping to get in some decent fish. Um, Roger's fishing and uh, I'm going to sight for right now, um, sight for him. I'm not really, not really feeling like fishing right now. So, oh, he's got another fish. Um, yeah, so I think that's the deal. At least for now, I'm just going to hang out and uh, try to see if we can get him into a bigger fish. Front of, in 10 feet in front of your fly. No, no, no. At your 11 o'clock. He's... I can't tell which way he's pointing right now. He's just sort of sitting there. Okay, now he's turning around. Now he's coming towards you. Actually, there's a, there's like three of them. Okay, they're coming in slow, but they're coming. And two have turned off to the right. Yeah, no, they've turned off to the right. Okay, now they're starting to come in again. Oh, there's like four right, right in front of you. Yeah, and there's a bigger one at the back. Literally at your 11 o'clock, maybe your 1130. Uh, five feet to the left. That's good. And uh, that's well, two of them spooked, but two of them are still there. One's coming in slow. It's hard for me to tell up here exactly where your fly is in relation to them because of the refraction. But they're right there. There you go. Oh, you missed. Oh. There's still there's still three fish right there. Oh, there's one coming for it. There you go. That's good. Bigger fish coming for it. Oh, rejected. And that spooked them a little bit. Yeah. Okay, uh, they're looking at it. There's a bunch of little ones now. There's a bigger one right behind. Yeah, they all turned away. Oh, oh! Don't leave it there! Oh. Okay, go ahead and recast it. He's at your 12. He's immediately at your 12, looking right at us. Nah, well... Oh, leave it there. Leave it there. 
No, he went back. He's going back the other way. He's going fast to the left. That was behind him. That's a nice fish. <laughs> okay, now he's going out to the middle of the lake. Rogers convinced me to uh, to rig up and fish under the theory of two rods are better than one. Um, so let's see, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Now, I just missed a fish, but we had, when I missed that fish, another big fish came swimming down through here, went across, I presented to it, spooked it a little bit. Roger had a chance to present, and neither one of us uh, did any good. But, you know, it's every, uh, I don't know, every 15 or 20 minutes, we've got a big fish cruising through here. Okay, so just out of curiosity, since they don't seem to be hitting the surface with anything I have, let's go back to old reliable. I think I'm going to put on uh, the Gold Ribs hairs here and a black AP nymph. 
It's either a black AP or it's a black, I think it's a black AP. Okay, let's see how the fish will react to these nymphs. Uh, if I can actually get the line out. I'm all tangled. Shoot! This is not good. There we go. On the hare's ear? Looks like it's on the hare's ear. Yep, on the hare's ear. Oh yeah, that's a decent fish. Seven inches, maybe? Maybe seven inches? That's not bad. <clears throat> so I've switched to the Gold Rivers Hairs here, and either a black AP nymph or a black Stillwater nymph, I forget which. And I can't keep the brook trout off of them. It's not really brook trout we're after. But just, you know, coming over here, there we go, that was a take. Coming over here, trying to roll cast and having the fish, you know, on my fly as I'm trying to roll cast. Not really counting down. I mean, it's kind of random. Sometimes I'm counting down, sometimes I'm not. I'm getting a strike like every third cast. There we go, and off again. Anyway. Keep missing them. Getting plenty of strikes. There's a strike. A small brookie, probably. So I've moved over to the other side of the lake. And I'm getting strikes when I can find the fish. And no strikes when I'm not finding fish. <laughs> Let's 
so it looks like I've got a bit of a drop off here. There were some brook trout that were hanging out in this light colored water. Let's see if we can get into some bigger fish over the edge though. Let's hope, let's hope. I've got my uh, gold ribs hairs ear on as well as a midge. I'm gonna let it drop 10 seconds. Looks like Roger hooked up there a minute ago. Okay, let's recast. Ah, that was not what I wanted. Neither was that, but I'm going to go ahead and fish it. There we go. A small brook trout again, most likely. Oh, but this time it's on the midge. Interesting. Okay, so I put the midge on because I was hoping to find some bigger fish. And, oh, wait a minute. Is this a brookie or a brown? It's a brook trout, yeah. And it looks like he took it pretty deep. There's a nice fat brookie. On the midge again. How interesting. So I fished a good bit of this lake. Um, we've seen some bigger fish, but haven't been able to, uh, you know, to effectively cast them. Uh, I switched to a, a midge on the dropper hoping to uh you know maybe entice some bigger fish but all i really got were uh were more brook drought so i'm gonna head around to the back to our um, back to our packs and just hang out i guess and, and wait for um wait for roger to finish up one thing that's really noticeable is the shallow water along the bank is has gotten really warm uh, it was cold earlier in the day. There's a small fish, a couple of fish, but now it's uh, now it's toasty warm, which <laughs> my feet are happy for. Uh, let's see. Well, let's see if I can. chunk there we go ah, let's see is it shallow enough for me to get over here I don't know get a little deeper I think this is about as far as I'm gonna go to land this fish and again on the midge yeah, it's funny, you know, earlier I uh, I had the gold ribs hairs ear on and it was consistently catching the, the brook trout and since the, <laughs> since the brook trout really aren't what we want, I put it on the midge um, when the, you know, when the brook trout fishing seemed to slow down, I put it on the midge uh, to try to catch the bigger fish and all I'm getting again are brook trout. And this has been a fairly, you know, it's been a consistent lake for small brook trout. It's not really why we're here. Oh, that spooked him. Okay, but one came back. There we go. And now they're coming back to it. Interesting.
Not the greatest presentations in the world. Where'd they go? Oh, they're all, they're all looking downstream now. Interesting. Well, could be a decent sized perky. Oh, there are two of them. Oh, uh, let's see. And the one is closer. The smaller one is closer. The bigger one just turned away from me. Let's see if I can get over here. Oh, now it turned back. Oh, not as big as I thought it would be. But let's see. And they both attacked it. <laughs> but that's the one I want right there. And he missed, I missed him. It's coming again. And that spooked him. But that one small one. You gonna get it? Yep. Yeah. Nope. And the wind's up and I can't see my fly. Okay, there he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Got him. Not very hard fishing, but fun. And it looks like he took both flies. And so I didn't even, I didn't even, no, I didn't. No, it's, it's up there. Okay, let's get rid of this. our second destination it's uh, almost four so we're not gonna be here too long I've got some small fish that look like they're rising in there okay. and the rest of the Rest of the lake there. Oh, there's a rise over there. Now, if you're a regular reader of my website, um, this is the lake that I said I would never come back to. <laughs> Mainly because all this grass and tule creates a false bottom. And the last time I was here, I actually fell through. So hopefully it's not as bad as then, now. i go ahead and put on a dry fly. So as you can see, it's a uh, really shadow, really shallow, lots of, lots of reeds. Um, it's deeper over there, and what happened to me last time was I waded out along the edge there, and uh, it was just... It was just matted reeds over matted reeds, and it collapsed under my weight, and I, uh, I sunk in about four feet. If I start to step into the water, you see how far my, my foot goes, and then underneath, I can still, it's not, it's not solid. So, yeah, not my favorite lake. Roger's seeing some fish down in there, so we'll head over there.
Oh yeah. Can't see in here. Can't see over there. Ah, uh, there's one. I've caught fish. There's a fish over there uh, by that ledge. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, it. I can see it. Oh, they're trying to spawn. I think. There's two males. Is it two males? Yeah. Okay. Wow, he's moving super slow. Oh, good. I've got... Okay. Well, I've got my caddis on. So Roger's cast his fly out and he's letting it sit. We're trying not to disturb the water and we're hoping the fish will cruise by and, and see it and take it. I'm not getting a good cast. I think they're too busy with each other. Well, we're heading back to the car. It was a fun day of fishing. Um, we picked up a bunch of fish at that first lake. Um, we came up to the second lake and, um, <laughs> you know, didn't, uh, didn't pick up any fish there. And I have, I am renewing my vow um, and never to return. It's just, uh, just not my place. It's just hanky. It's just really, really hinky. Um, anyway, if you've, uh, if you've watched the entire video, I hope you've enjoyed it, and thank you for coming along.